How are you doing? I'm good. I'm chilling. You know, yeah. working. I can see you're chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Looking all sassy. Anyways, how was 2018 for Queen of Rhymes? 2018. Whoa. Uh, it was it was a great year. Um, it was challenging. Everything, you know. But then at the end of the year, I could see. I was able to do what I was expecting to do. But then, um, you know, after um, Hitmaker was 2017, so 2018 was like the, 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 the year that I was actually ready to put out works and stuff like that. So, you know, I got signed to Black Avenue Music in 2018, and I brought my first song out. Uh, that was Jamming. And after Jamming, you know, I had to push the song for some time and then after a couple of months I released uh, my second song with Kelvin Boy that's Adego yeah and with the video Jamie came with the video and Adego too came with the video and yeah. uh, Adego did really well yeah as compared to Jamie yeah and so after that you know I've been trying to, I've been working you know recording going to studios you know I have like, a couple of songs with some of the great artists in the industry as well so 2018 was actually amazing it was challenging and then after everything i would say it was it was good it was a great year okay so you yeah. said it was challenging tell us about some of the challenges you went through in 2018 hey you don't want to know <laughs> oh we want to challenge know. it's not easy you know um you know um it was after Haymaker, like i said and people were you know expecting something from me and i wasn't really um settled it like i wasn't really down with what's like getting onto the label and everything yeah. stuff like that mm -hmm. and you know as a haymaker you need to go through a certain process before you can get the resources and everything so i wasn't ready but then people were you know pushing me when are you dropping the song when are you coming out with this and stuff like that so that was some sort of pressure on me and stuff and also uh, when I released Jamin, I felt like it wasn't really doing well. You understand? Yeah, so you yeah. think the response wasn't good? Yeah, okay. but then it was after some time. Oh. So you see, it didn't really come at once. So I felt like, wow, am I not doing well or is Jamin not good enough for me? And stuff like that. But then as time went on, it became, you know, great. Yeah. So that's, I mean, some of the challenges. But then, my God, it's great. Like everything is going on. But I hope for um I they go with Kelvin Boy, the response is good, trust me. Yeah. Even as a now. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now let's talk about your record label. That's okay. Black Avenue Music. How long has it been? Have you been with Black Avenue Music? Oh, uh, it's almost a year now. Okay. But for how long I'm going to be on the label, that's I'm not gonna I can't put it out. So <laughs> you plan on staying longer? <laughs> yes. I have a, I have a contract with them. them. How, how long is it? That is what I don't want to tell oh, you. <laughs> <not. laughs> right. Yeah, so I'm almost like a year. Yeah, since I, I got signed to the record okay. label. And trust me, you've been so good. You know, I have a team, I have a family. You know, they support me, we support each other. And I'm not the only artist on the label. We have other artists, but they all support me. We yeah. support each other. And that's really good. You know, that helps you know to put your music out there because you know you have few people also yeah. pushing your, your stuff out and that's really great so um i'm really glad i'm signed to black and Indie music and everything's going on well oh, but nice. then we need your support as well you know so when we drop the song you know we need you guys to also help us push it so that we'll go you know we'll break boundaries and enter yes yes. <laughs> yes so you guys should help you know push the songs and yeah. we'll do our part here yeah i know you're already <laughs> doing this i love you music ah, africa i love you <laughs> <laughs> so it is rumored that you and the, like the female artists at black and new music you guys don't really are not really on the right foot should i use that word like you guys are beefing let me put it that way oh really <laughs> yeah Oh no, you see, I said we are like a family. Yeah, that's why I brought it up because you are saying you're like a family, and then people, other people are saying, no, you guys don't really gel. Really? Yeah. Oh, no, trust me, it's not like that. We are very cool. We are very cool. I mean, we are just three. Yeah, you, Sefa, Nina, Richie. Yeah, yeah, we are good. And I see you hanging more with Sefa. I don't hey. see you and Nina Richie. Mm -hmm. Oh, Spill we. <laughs> Spill oh, we, we hang. 
most of the time. Most of the time we are together. Okay. But probably, you know, um, the other one, uh, Nina, is doesn't really stay in Ghana. Oh. So if you see me hanging most of the time with her, it's because we are both in Ghana. But okay. she, you know, she travels back and then she comes back sometimes. But then, uh, we are all good. That's okay. right. Dope. Yeah. So let's go back to your contract. I'm very concerned about that. <laughs> <laughs> So if the contract expires, <laughs> would you still continue to be with Black Avenue Music or you want to explore your, you know, your chances? Uh, you know, I don't really know much about the future, but people say the future is now. So I say, I'll say I am where I'm supposed to be now. Okay. But for um, like three or four or five years to come, I don't really know. It depends. It depends. Okay. I can't really, you know, like yes, I'm gonna be with Black Avenue, or no, I'm not gonna be with Black Avenue. Because you, know, you know, better days are ahead, right? So I can't be better days are ahead. Yeah. <laughs> All so. right. So let's come to your dope freestyle videos right now. Like yo, you on fire, yeah. dropping back to back. Oh, <laughs> Like, I am always on point when it comes to watching your freestyle videos. Yeah. And then I scroll, I scroll, I see, then I see Fred Luna as well, and I'm like. Hey, some, some beef they go on or something like, yo, you guys are dropping some dope freestyles back by back. Yeah, 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 like what's going on? Ah, uh, well, you know, as an artist and me being a rapper, I'm not just a rapper. I'm an artist. You know, I do. I'm like general. I can do everything. But then, as a rapper, you know, apart from releasing songs, you need to do other things to make you stay relevant. Yeah, and that's yeah. the freestyle. Yeah, so you know, you know, sometimes in a song you can't really put all the bars and stuff in yeah. a song. You know, certain songs you're supposed to, you know, um, talk about a certain concept, you know, about love and stuff like that. So you can't really put all the bars in. Yeah. yeah. So the freestyles, you know, allows you to talk up, you know, speak your mind yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. And it also makes you stay relevant. You know, get your fans talking about you all the time. Yeah. So that's why we do the freestyle. Hey, you're dope though. You guys should jump on it. Like, go and watch it. It's very dope. Now let's come back to your pictures. Okay. You've been posting a lot of dope pictures these days, man. I'm looking. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Jazz mommy. <laughs> you know. And then I scroll. I see some comments. Hey, Jalefi Darimes is becoming a slay queen. No. Like, oh, are you people too? <gasps> ah. Hey. So. <laughs> Clarify things right now. Okay. Frida Rams is no slave queen. Me, I'll tell you, she's no slave queen. She's a dope rapper. Yes, and, um, and, and you know, I'm different. Yeah. I brag different. I talk different. I pose different. You know, so I'm not a slave. Our eyes slave. different. <laughs> you <know>. see? <laughs> hey, but that slave queen is really, you You've know, trendy, too, right? right? <laughs> yes, I said Frida Rams has turned to a slave oh. Well, me, I love to take pictures. And one thing, I always love to look good. You know, so I can sometimes I can spend hours on the internet trying to look for you know fashion styles, different looks and stuff like that. So yeah. that's me. So I always want to look good. And come on, I wouldn't buy dresses and wear them, and I wouldn't take pictures. You understand? Yeah. So because I love to look good always, when I when I feel I'm looking good, I need to take pictures and make people have a feel of it. Yeah. You understand? So I just you know love to do to take pictures and that's it so please i'm no slave queen but if you see me as a slave queen that's that one is up to you <laughs> i don't really care about that <laughs> now let's talk about your style of music the, let's put dressing how you rap and everything into it the school of thought says that you are trying to be like Nicki minaj really yes trying to be like Nicki minaj yeah. well I, I wouldn't say i'm trying to be like Nicki minaj Better Nicki Minaj, Minaj is, 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 is my inspiration. She's been my inspiration since day one. So, you know, I guess probably because I listen to her most of the time, I certain things, I end up picking certain things indirectly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's how people say, but I'm not trying to be like her. I just love her and what she does. How can I try to be like Nicki Minaj when I don't have all the plastic pools and things, you know? So I'm trying, I'm being me. But because I love her, you know, I watch her most of the time, so I kind of like pick certain things from her, but then I'm not trying to be like her. Nice. Okay. Now let's go to your music. Okay. You're currently on Pay featuring yeah. D Black, one and only. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Pay. Yeah. 
pay because yeah. Ghana boys don't like pay. Oh. But there's this thing about feminism <laughs> going on right now, though. That like we need to be independent. We need to do our own of thing. Of course. So yeah. are you trying to um, um say that it's good for men to do all the pain? And of girls course. No. Really? No. You can be independent. We have independent. But Charlie, trust me. Let's okay. be real. It's not every girl that can be independent. Okay. So. If you are a guy, you see a beautiful lady, you like her. I mean, you need to continue making her uh, beautiful, you know, look beautiful all the time. So you need to pay. So can this go for, you know, this somehow go for girls as well. But girls can also spend on their men. Yes, yeah. I've, 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 I've been on a date where I was the one that paid. So you understand. Okay. So pay is actually something to have fun with, you know, okay. like, you know, something that's, uh, you know, I they do I have some sort of one. Um, experience and you know some kind of relation okay. to the song but at the go is some some concept that just popped up in the studio okay. you understand so we just decided to talk about it and it's true you know recently some things were going around and people are saying men don't like pain and stuff like that so it's true so just pay for the girls big so since you released pay how has the um response been so far people responding to the song and trust me this is really moving very very fast this has been like two days yeah but then i'm, I'm seeing a couple of djs banging it all yes. the time on radio and i love you guys for doing that for me thank you very much and trust me it, it's been great yeah yeah because this is really like fast for me yeah, yeah but it's, it's, it's a nice track only i don't agree with the fact that the guy has to pay everything but you okay let's... i'm not saying that you pay everything <laughs> but they need to make us feel comfortable okay okay you understand nice. let us feel comfortable and right. you know or buy a few bear money and film paddy. Into one film paddy, you need to take good care. Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Anyway, yeah. Um, did you did you want to um feature someone else on the track, or you had just D Black in mind? Well, I listened to this uh, after um, recording the song. I actually was looking for someone on it, and I felt like D Black is really good concept rap. Yeah, so he's actually the one that I wanted to put on. So he, I didn't, when I sent him the song, I didn't say he should put a verse on it, but when he listened, he felt like uh, he can put something on and then he put it on and it was amazing. Okay, so you didn't have anyone else in mind, it's just black. Oh, I did, you know. Uh, there are a couple of people I think if they were on, it would have been great as well. Uh, I don't know if she's in Okay. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, but D Black was number one though. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. and also, uh, who was I thinking? I've forgotten, like I said. Yeah. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, medical would have been good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, th- I thought about it. But you didn't one. send a song to me. Mm-hmm. Oh, you should have tried at least. <laughs> I know, right? Well, I have a couple of songs there that, you know, okay. I can pull him on. Because my fans are always asking me, when are you doing a song with your medical? When are you doing a song with Chrissy? I said, don't worry, I'll do all that for you, okay? Alrighty. Okay. So, should we expect a video soon? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. It's coming out. Very soon. Very right. soon. Am I going to be in it? Yeah, you want to. You can come around. <laughs>